How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of me playing through Alan Wake 2 again. Uh, I played this through like right at release and I'm still continuing on uh, playing it again while we're waiting for, uh, of course, uh, New Game Plus to come out this month. Uh, hopefully it says by the uh, uh, by next month, uh, when they announced New Game Plus it said it would be available by next month. So that would be like a month after launch, so that would be around November 27th ish so around thanksgiving ish for the game so we could probably get the proper ending and everything and luckily it's free so uh everyone will be able to get the ending that way uh we're going to return into our game we just had uh as far as i remember we just fought nightingale and we won so let's get back in of course it's gonna have to load in and everything I believe the game updated to 1.10 since the last time I played. I think I was on 1.08 the last time I played. I don't remember, though. Oh, that was a quick load. Yeah, this is after the... I think this is after the Nightingale fight. Don't know, though. Yeah, this is def this is definitely after the fight because I don't believe Alan contacted um was able to talk with Saga until after this fight with Nightingale. Yeah, there we go. Because this is the this is the part where she finds Alan on the beach after beating Nightingale. Still amazes me how beautiful this game looks. Like Remedy went out of their way to use this new technology to make the game look so good. God, it looks just good. Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. It's changed the story. The dark presence. We must stop it before. Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I'm Thirteen a... years later and he's out of the dark place. Crazy, from? isn't it? You've been missing for 13 years. Thirteen. Thirteen years. Since 2010. Oh yeah, of course it's going to be end of chapter. Uh, I believe we saw this at the end of the last one, but... We, we we're gonna skip the the chapter song and everything, of course, but because we're going to this. All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Cauldron Lake is just crazy. Who I think it is. Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Should look around. Get a look in. Could be further clues out there. I could probably look in the... the disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap. To Nightingale. Okay, it looks like I can't go through here. I'm gonna go back around and see if we could look at the the area that where, where the overlap was and everything. Get your bearings. We'll head out. I just, I need another minute. He had a page with him. I don't know. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. He's gonna go under here. Deer carcass. That's nasty. You can go a little bit into the lake, but just not too far, it looks like. 
remember, like, I played the, through this game already, but, like, sometimes you don't remember some things. So we're just going to go back through and look around. And I think there's a way to get over to certain parts of the area. I don't remember, though. Uh, oh, yeah, I got the... This med kit, shotgun, uh, charm too. We're gonna just make our way around to look around and stuff. I think we can get back up around here somehow. Ooh, there's a way through here. Let's see what's over here. A locked box. Oh, there's a locked box here. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Oh, is this one of those? F. -t ah, yeah, it's one of those Simon Says puzzles. Remember, they look like us, but they aren't. They're animals, and it's our job to hunt them and gut them. Flare? Shotgun? Gas tank? Oh! Uh, space upgrade. Nice. So we got another upgrade to our, our our inventory, so we can store more stuff. Cool. I'm gonna go back around to the general store and see if we can look at that stuff over there. Like I can okay, I came from this way. This is the way I came. I can go this way now. There's probably stuff around here that'd be cool to look around. Look at. Is there stuff? No. Nah. Okay. There's nothing over there. A lot of like the dense brush and everything and the, the rug game still runs really good. That impresses me, because, like, Remedy took their time to actually do stuff. Okay, yeah, here we are back at the the flooded area. This is the overlap, where it was, like, really flooded over here. We can take a look around, see if we missed anything. Of course, this is the... Uh Thing with Barbara Jagger. I'm looking at the mine place because we yeah, it's something we could put on the case board. Cold stash. This is found in the Cauldron Lake area, so we'll put it there. Another case is the Cult of the Tree. Victims are treated like animals. Cult psychology, I think, is that. Anything else? Nope. Got radio. We got the one commercial. All right. But I want to take a look at. Ooh. Even the animals are turning into monsters. Yeah, there's deer here. I believe we could go down here, so we could just look around a bit. Oh, look at that. There's an arrow pointing. Nothing there. Oh, this is just like the first game where you could see like different air, like the arrows and stuff. Streamside stash. He, where's the? Where is that at? I wonder what that is. What does that go to? The stream is... But where is the stash at though? Where that is, 
Let me look at the map. Crowsfoot Hill. I wonder if I could like follow over here. Maybe I'll find something. Because it says Streamside Stash. So it could be like over here somewhere. Like near Witch's Hut or something. So if I follow like down here, maybe we'll find stuff over here. It's possible. Like over here? Maybe across this bridge? Because there's stuff over here. Which finder station, which label? There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? One bird for light, and two for darkness. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for an injury, five, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever that may be. Oh, I see. It's just like making you put, it's going to make you put items here or something. Oh, this is FBC stuff. Holy shit. A little clothespin doll. Crow doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for fight. Look around. Charm. Cute. I had a That'd charm. A great on a bracelet Logan made for me. Huh. Tax. Strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Interesting. Okay. That's new. I don't think I've ever done that before. Nursery rhymes. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. That's a different thing. I don't remember that. Anything else going on, I guess. I missed that the first time I played that. So that's kinda neat. Oh shit. That scared the shit out of me. Oh. Battery. Okay. Doesn't look right. Charm appears at the side of the rhyme. A whole other case file I never knew about. Cool. This 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 game surprises me every single time. Keep the crow doll. Okay. I can go back to check the previously flooded area. Just want to look around over here too. Streamside in a private cabin. Wait, streamside, streamside. Streamstride stash. Oh, I need a, I need a way to open that. I thought the key would work on that. If 
from Alaska to British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, and all the way to, down to California, the Pacific Northwest area spans over a diverse range. Here you will find 59 threatened or endangered species of plants and animals, including the mighty orca and wild gray wolves. The Pacific Northwest region's ecosystems are wonderfully diverse. They include mountain areas like Cascades and Olympic Ranges, as well as dense the dense forests around them. In the west, there are several islands and dry desert plateaus cover and dry desert plateaus cover the east. Some of the common wildlife calling the Pacific Northwest their home are robins, seagulls, squirrels and otters, cougars and deer, coyotes and raccoons, salmon and blue herons. The marshes and ponds of this area host an impressive variety of fauna, but majestic trees like the black cottonwood, big leaf maple, and Oregon ash thrive in the wetlands too. It is truly the nature lover's paradise. That is neat. That's cool. I liked I liked reading the Bright Falls stuff in uh in Witchfinder Station. That's a new one. Look at the cause this is stream side, so maybe it's over here. Or somewhere. These are like. Hmm. Is there like a stash at the cabin or something? I wonder. I'll go up there and see. I'm gonna check and see what that is, though. Oh, I see it. I think this might be like a little unbanded. This cabin might be abandoned. There's stuff here. Miriam, Matt, thanks for the love. It came down from it. Love every. Nice. Do's and don'ts. Okay. Different people were here, it seems. Oh, I can start up the engine. I can use the select button. Cool. It's just a cabin, it seems. Oh, I... Okay, this is a nice air... Ooh, there's a manuscript page right there. That's new. Is that another, another one of those rhymes? A mother crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her home from the beast to come to feast, but only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. I wonder how exactly you're supposed to solve this one. There's nothing right here. There's a light over there. Guarding her babies, doing her... It's a baby, so... Huh. I wonder if I could have put multiple here. Do I got to find another doll? Is there another one here? I wonder. I don't know what to do for that, so let's go up to the Witchfinder station. To see if we can find anything there. It's up this way, apparently. Maybe there's something up there that we can use. Like, just exploring this game is just fun to do. 
Which find your station, Cauldron Lake. Ooh, what's that on the table? Ooh, there's a manuscript page here. More of these rhymes? Rhyme over here. Another rhyme. Hero brave and strong left home to find to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry. Then he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero to find she lost the thing she loved the most. The hero. There's a cabin here. Knocked over a chair. Who owned this, I wonder? Ooh, there's a... something right here. Nope. Computer's working. Uh... <laughs> it is worth a try. Oh, two, five, four, seven. Test results negative. Dr. Eugene Campbell, Department of Parafiction. Oh, is this a is this somebody from the FPC? I wonder. Could be somebody from the FPC. That's what it seems like, at least. Rubber duck. Jesus, what's with all the rubber ducks in here? Still a bag here. Ooh, this is an FPC uh, document. Research into the reality altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake era, utilizing fiction and art as a source, then manifesting the result into existence. Method methodology. The FPC's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rights here and after referred to as fiction an attempt to recreate the conditions which the writing would become reality. The hypothesis is that the there are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass but are not known to the later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these of past events, after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration, or by the fiction itself being the initiating force in this present timeline, using the creator as a conduit. In the experiment, we will create nursery rhyme texts with a specific function and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed via a carefully tested process for the purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself in the real world. A variety of combinations including involving the dolls, symbols, and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data with the hope that a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the test based on our results FBC's working on something with this stuff that's probably what the parafictional stuff it's the FBC the FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand oh wow that always goes well. <laughs> FBC playing things with things they don't understand that's a that's a new one <laughs> it's definitely nothing new <laughs> All right, there is there's some dolls here. Hero doll, wolf doll, 
an FBC file, which find your station, stream side, cabin culture and lake rentals. There's two at the witch finders. You could arrange two of them here. One at the one at the the witch finder stream side, which is that private cabin, I think. Uh, so the dolls are here, okay. I want okay, so we gotta do two here, so we gotta set up two. Alright, we go over here. The hero brave and strong left home to right a wrong. From the woods came Okay, the woods, this is the wolf. Uh the hero left home. I have a weird feeling something's changed. What is this? Oh shit. This, this is, is ridiculous. This is affecting reality now. Jesus Christ. Dolls. The hero doll. Is that Saga? I think the hero doll kind of looks like Saga. Ryan found outside the ranger. Okay, the cauldron. There we go. Let's follow the footprints up the. A new ch this is the safety zone death coffee mug charm okay we're gonna move it to here okay this is the same FBC so we got the two here we could place all right we already looked at these let's grab those dolls and put them back Try and see if we can use them in this. I'm gonna try to uh, use something at the witch finder station. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm down here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Oh wow, okay. More about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? I haven't even found the stream side. We're not seeing the full picture yet. I don't think I'm. Yeah, I'm not really seeing the full picture, am I? I'm gonna see if I can find that. It's probably over here somewhere, isn't it? Was this the one? No, this is the one I. Okay, this is the nursery rhyme I did. There's a nursery rhyme here. Uh, okay. Stream side. Okay, that wolf just decides to come out of nowhere and try to kill me. Okay, so the... The key... Items. Uh, st the stream... Key to the cold stash at the stream in Cauldron Lake. Where is that, though? Do I have to go all the way back down to get that? I don't remember. Or no. Like I'm like there's this is new stuff to me. I like I never had to do this stuff. Alright, there's there's like there's one over here too. A mother crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best. To protect your home from the beast to come to feast. Keep the two. Well, only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. Hero. Uh, crow. Prot 
protect your home from the beast coming to f home? No, it said one, so it... Is it one doll here? Or is it... Do I gotta push the hero doll here? Or here? Mother Crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her home from the beast. But only a hero brave of heart can keep them two feet apart. What does that mean? Nest. Do I gotta look up to find? Usually there's another figure nearby. And I can figure this out. I wonder. I don't know if I should look this up or not. I don't I'm going to look it up a little bit. I'm going to I'm going to see what this this stream side one is because it's it's kind of annoying me. Hero the crow and the wolf. Wolf on the house. Oh my god. Am I <sighs> Wolf on the house. Hero on the doll on the heart and crow on the Okay. I thought it said that we only needed uh, Okay, what changed? What changed? What changed? What changed? What changed? save really quick Oh, there's a growling. Ah, can't forget the dolls. Might need them again. Oh, was that? Another charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Not me. I'm gonna go get the dolls and then we'll uh, go back and get the dolls. Get those. Could use them for other nursery rhymes. I wonder if there's another clue at the... I wonder if that's what they just wanted me to do was just look at the... Oh, I know this is Witchfinders. Oh, shit. I went the wrong way. Uh... This is not the way I was supposed to go. Uh, I had to head up to the private cabin, which was over here. Doy. <laughs> uh, I, gotta, I never found the stream side stuff. Is it like, I wonder if it's like around here or if there's like a stat, there's a container here. Fuse box, I wonder if I Go back to the Cauldron Lake Shore. I'll find something like maybe over here or over here. Because streams are like stream side is. Maybe if I go down this way, I'll find something. I'll check that way after this. Get the dolls. All right. Oh, cool! It goes into my gear. All right. 
into my items, not my like gear and stuff. I forgot it does that. All right. All right, we're heading down this way. I don't think I ever headed down this before. Okay, this is a stream over here. Ooh, maybe it's over here. Ooh, what is that? There's a two? Negative two? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, is this the... Oh, this is a... Uh... Oh, is this the stream side? No. Rock, rock, tree. Are you br bright enough? Six plus two, eight, three, oh, six. Didn't I see like a negative two or something? Six plus two, that's eight. Rock, rock, tree, that is... That's six. Two, six, eight? Try to figure this out. Here's something in the distance. I don't know where that is. Six eight five. Six five eight. There we go. Are you one of them or one of us? Okay. I hear something. There he is. God, where's that container for the stream side stash? Is it Crowsfoot Hills? Oh, I... Oh, I gotta go all the way around, don't I? I was right. It's like right... It's like right here. God, I'm an idiot. Alright, uh... I could probably just like go back the way I came. Shouldn't be too hard. At least I don't think it will. Yeah, this is just this is this won't be too hard. I can just go back the way I came. Head back to that campground area. See if we can get that stash, and maybe we can head back to the general store. Maybe we missed some stuff up there. I don't know if I got all the nursery rhymes here at Cauldron Lake, though, so... That'd be nice if we did. I think I gotta head back across the bridge? Yeah, there we go. Doing pretty good so far. We Jesus. How long? How many minutes are we into this recording? We still haven't. We're, we're half an hour into the recording. We still haven't left Cauldron Lake yet. I got so distracted on like different stuff. Okay, uh, we're here at the fork. I'm gonna go to that camping area that we. I think I remember. There might have been a stash here. 
Oh, yeah. See, there's cult symbols here. Another locked box. There it is. It has the light on it. There we go. See, stream size stash. The cult is watching right now. Huh. I hope they are. I'm stealing your shit. There's another manuscript page. That's a new one. Alright. I'm going to go to my case board. We're going to put stuff on the cult stash list. These are all Cauldron Lake stuff. Oh, I wonder if this was like leading to the key that's why oh that's how i how i missed that i don't know how i did that okay all right all right all right oh i see that led into the yeah 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 yeah. all right let's head back up to we should be able to just head to the general store and then like oh shit there's taken right there I'm going to run into the light. Alright, which way do I need him? I, uh, I'm confusing myself. Okay, I gotta go down this way. And head back to the general store. And we can head to that path in which we have a shortcut back to the parking lot, I believe. Is this... This goes to the witch's hut. I don't need to go this way. I can go this way. Even though the Witch's Hut is a nice little area we could go to. I'm going to go... Go back. Okay, this is general store area. We, get, we can cut through here and get to the parking lot where we can head back to Bright Falls. Oh, shoot. I gotta go around here. Go back around the store. Was there not a... Yeah, there is a way around here. Okay. Not trying to make it hard for me. <laughs> yep, the flooding receded back over here, too. There's a guy right there. I might just run. I don't need to fight every single t taken. Oh shit, he's coming. Always supplying me with batteries. Station's going off. I think it was doing this when we got here, too. I don't remember. Yeah, this is where we found that lunchbox. Did I read this? Yeah, the FBC thing. Okay, I did that already. 
It's been a bit since I've been into this game, so, uh... <laughs> still running good, though. Hell, like, really nice frame rate so far. I haven't had any hitches. Looking good so far. We'll meet up with Alex Casey and, uh, and Alan at the car. Did I look over here? I do not remember. Oh yeah, this is the this is the thing with the guy looking at the the wildlife stuff. I remember that. A little off the beaten path, and then you find stuff like ooh, cauldron lake, steep climb. Okay, that's a. I'm no. I'm getting distracted by little signs and everything. I like the little details in this game. That's pretty nice. And we're back at the car. You ready to go? Yeah, let's head back to Bright Falls. Still a We're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there. And then we'll talk about Oh, they did fix the audio syncing issues. That's nice. Oh, that's Don't weird. Freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slept. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's mom. Oh, so oh, this is like the big like the start. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus. Oh, this is like the beginning of the... I tried. Beginnings of like the story like starting to change around them. With only Saga remembering that the story, how her life was before. Just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Want to say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Oh, I'm, I'm glad they fixed that. The the before like the audio would always desync on my computer, but now it's not really doing that. So that's nice. <laughs> Max Payne and Saga. I mean, Alex Casey and Saga. Seeing, like, Alex Casey with Sam Lake's face, I'm always thinking it's just it's just Max Payne. Especially hearing James McCaffrey's voice. You've been gone a long time. No. No. They'd be in danger. They'll come for me. Oh, come on. Bring back Barry. He's got his flaming eye of mortar with a bunch of Christmas lights on him. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The dark presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Fifteen years. Fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You have what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently, but your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. <laughs> yeah. Scratch. <laughs> they seem as, like, crazy, but, like... Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember it. Like, just... Because you played as Alan so long, you, you, you understand what he's going through, essentially. Puddle. Coffee thermos. The puddle. I remember. I remember. 
Oh, I see. That's right. The puddles are transport you switches you between Alan and Saga. I forgot about that. This is how it all like connects you and everything. Mostly. In between with Mr. Door. Late night. up in places with no memory of how I got there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Ooh, a live action segment. Mr. Door. Does it ever get old? Sounds like something Dylan said in uh, Control. Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. Oh, you could say that. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to this book. You left off on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what... It's not a lake, it's an ocean. <laughs> well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be. Departure, Initiation, Return. Cerebral? I mean, how would you describe it? Uh, an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait... This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so hard. Okay, you got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, it's sad to say I, I've not written this. I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Hmm. Something like that. Overlaps our own? Very meta indeed. Maybe it does. See, initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he's written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. <sighs> I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. <laughs> but isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? Well, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of the Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there. And he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Did I get that right? That's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. <laughs> notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in the story, Alan? Wow. 
Possibly. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called The Turf, perhaps. Ooh. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of venom and it's expecting to disappear once we see them. Crazy. Hello. Oh, that was something's not right here. That was nuts. We need to get home to Alice. What the hell is that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Oh, there's the old Gods of Asgard stuff set up here. Okay. There's stuff here, too. Let's head down this way. In between with Mr. Door. I go this way? Nope. Okay. Old Gods of Asgard? Old Gods of Asgard. 665, Neighbor of the Beast. What's in here? Mr. Door. I was a mess. I had never heard of his talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Is that Sam Lake? Huh. What's this? My interpretation of many worlds. By Dr. Casper Darling. <laughs> uh, we just keep getting Zane Classic in theaters. We're just going to get keep getting references to Control. I love it. Control panel. 665. That worked. Perfect. There was something here. Broken transmission, I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Oh, wow, that, that reflection. Okay, that's neat. I like that little reflection. Stuff over here? Yo. Nope. Alright, let's head out over here then. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh no. Door ain't opening. Oh shit. What's going on? This is the ritual to lead you on. This is the ritual to lead you on. Oh shit, we're in the writer's room. Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced. About riding here for countless days. Initiation. Initiation draft. The nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. Scratch. Trust these words. I had to act on Well, of course you could trust them. They're your words. Where 
radio. Oh, there's some. You can listen to those. Radio. Right. Right your way out, Alan. Right your way out. Tom the diver, Tom the poet. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again with the talk show. Back in the studio. <laughs> Sam Lake, nice. Oh, he's an actor in this? That's right, he's an actor in this game. project myself into him. Ooh, a live action segment again. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? <laughs> I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? <laughs> looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. Actor. We all know that's Sam Lake. Don't say it's an, he's an actor. What's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. Stories and these adaptations. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could. I wonder if this is like a commentary on how they tried to get Alan Wake as a as a and like a like live action adaptations. Should we roll it or do you want to say something first, Tim? Nah, just roll it. Alex Casey himself. James McCaffrey voicing Alex Casey. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Table maps shaped like an angel. <laughs> that face. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Story must come to an end. Five six five. Is that the new? Nothing's changed here in Mr. Doors' room. I 
think that's the nuke. Or if that's the nuke hole. Five, six, five. Cool, it worked. TV still here? Murderer stock shadows, murderer cult rumors spread. Huh. Murder cult. Gotta head back into here again. This time we're not gonna get attacked. Oh wow, it opened. Hello? Whose voice is that? Toilets? You in here? Guess not. Okay. Ah, Artie! From Control! You are, Tom. Oh, not so much <laughs> Artie from Control. No way. Not one without the other. <laughs> not one without Good the other. I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The world will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. The more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what do you want me to get from the basement? Uh, and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's a man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egony. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. Build his own box in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Basement key. Have we met before? Are you trapped in a dark place, too? You remember Arti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are. I wonder if this is like a meta thing where he recognizes the player, but Alan doesn't recognize him or something. Because we recognize him from control. But he, he might recognize us. Like, not Alan, but like... Us, the player. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. Prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. Not easy to get worry, out. Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. <laughs> I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. Water is the memory of the world and water. Know was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. Extremely would get me out of here. Extremely friendly face. Ooh, a map. I can do lock door. We should be able to get through here. I think. Uh, this leads back to the... Oh, basement. Nice. Alright, let's head through here. And we'll go... That was weird. I saw, I saw something. Alright, we're gonna head down and see if we can find stuff. Alright. I could still hear him. There's a symbol, but I can't use that yet, it looks like. 
Let's head towards the light. Maybe there's something. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Huh. That felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Bringing light to the dark. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. That's different. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. Harry Garrett. Ooh, okay. The, the Harry Garrett show. So this whole time, the Mr. Door Shore was the Harry, Harry Garrett show. Okay. Need this. And we'll go. There's a staircase here. Let's see what's over here first. TV. The dark place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. No oh shit, is Alan in his old clothes there? But I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds up my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing. But I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on the spiral of the darkness. A spiral of darkness. We're going to listen to this song right here. Then we'll end this Let's Play for now. This Poe song is nice. I like it. And that was the end of the song. Wow, it was actually a lot shorter than I thought it was. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this another part, another part of me playing through Alan Wake. Uh, join me next time as we continue Alan's adventure in the dark place. 
remember to subscribe and comment down below seeing what you like about this game and everything. I'm loving this game so far. Uh, I've played it before, as I said, and I personally believe it's going to be my game of the year this year. And I hope it, 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 a lot of other people agree too as well because I've been having so much fun playing this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be good people. Remember that. Remember what James from Dead Meat says. Be good people. Uh, have a good night, guys.